What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Flight Club with multi platinum rapper YG. I came to school with the 17 with the whole Jordan outfit on with the briefcase. Right. Niggas was like, you got that? I'm like, yeah. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Yeah, that. Let's go. Growing up in Compton, who inspired your style? Not motherfuckers from Brompton. No. Like the shit I was doing when I was young, mm -hmm. motherfuckers used to hate on it. Like, what was it? I was one of the first motherfuckers, like from where I'm from, wearing like skinny jeans and all that type of shit and bands and all that. Motherfuckers used to be talking shit. You feel me? I used to be getting into it with homies and shit. I used to pull up with skinny jeans on. They like. What is that? Niggas don't wear skinny jeans. I'm like, nigga, I got big guns in my skinny jeans, though. It's honey. You know what I mean? I'm like, I beat niggas up too, so. What'd they say after that? They just used to be like, motherfuckers ain't like it, you know what I'm saying? And now you see everyone wearing skinny jeans. Do you still talk to those guys who are trying to. Oh, yeah, they the homies. And, and did they pay respect now that you were ahead no, of the No, they still curve? talk shit. <laughs> YG, you wear a lot of Vans, some that are regular in line, they're like $50, but what do you think about new collabs like The Fear of God? They're going for $1,000, Vans that retail for 50. Do you like this new style? Yeah, no, nah, Fear of God, fire. They gave me these for free. Yeah, yeah they going for a G bar, that's fire. Crazy. Growing up, were you always a Vans person? Motherfucker, I've been a Vans nigga since like I was like 14, 15. Before that, I was strictly all Jordans, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And what made you change from Jordans to Vans? I was brought into the world on some Jordan shit. So that was me by like not even having a choice. And I'm okay with that. Who gave you the Jordans? Like my pops and all my pops just Jordan out. He like kept you fresh. He got the jump man logo tatted on his leg. Like, really? Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. Like, it's Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls, everything in my house, you know what I'm saying? When okay. I was young, I started doing all the other shit on my own. Did you put your pops up on Vans? Or no, my was... pops don't wear Vans. No. He wear all Jordan I stuff. I buy my pops Jordans to this day. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But he been asking for like some different shit like Vans and all that. I'm like, you trying to wear Vans now, nigga? <laughs> Chuck Taylors, you love them, obviously. Me. Yeah. How many pairs do you think you go through a month or do you just wear them till they fall off or what? No, when I was wearing them, I used to go through like two pair a week type shit. They used to tell me like, my nigga, you crazy because you buying all these damn shoes back to back. All the, yeah. I just buy shoes and shit. So I'm like, listen, bro, y'all niggas buy Ace weed every day. Mm -hmm. That's like like fifty to eighty dollars. Yeah. You feel me? I'm not buying weed. I'm buying shoes. Yeah. I'm doing the same shit. Y'all niggas smoking y'all money. I'm wearing my shit. Niggas, Absolutely. Like, what the fuck you talking about? Would you do a simple collab if Converse approached you and like? We just want to do a basic Chuck Taylor, but your little spin on it. Listen, man, if the bag is right, I will be with a lot of shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If the bag right and I fuck with the brand, we got action. Got you. You know what I'm saying? You're friends with James Harden. You were actually part of his rollout for his shoe. Yeah. Is he your favorite basketball player right now? Yeah, one of them top five for sure. What was it like being a part of that rollout with him? Saying it was some good shit, but you know, we have a lot of moments like that. We be turned up, you know what I'm saying? It was good though, the homie getting the bag, you know what I'm saying? He getting the yeah. bag, like, yeah. you feel he be talking his shit too. Really? About <laughs> yeah. the deal? He just be talking like, what other motherfucker, young motherfucker out here getting like me? <laughs> Good, good for him. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, you feeling yourself. I'm like, yeah, that's what's up, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he's just like, nah, I'm serious, though. Tell me, name what? <laughs> Love that. Yo, know the shit. I like that shit. And how do you feel about the Rockets' chances this year going all the they way? They got action. Yeah. Yeah, I was just talking about that like two days ago. They got action. And do you play ball in your spare time? Yeah, I'm a hooper. Yeah. Good. What do you rock when it's time to play ball? I rock Jordans, bruh. YG, you spoke about your dad being a big Jordan head. You spoke about you playing basketball in Jordans. Which ones particularly are your favorite? I'm a favorites? Jordan head too. The ones is my top favorite. Ever? Yeah, the ones, you know what I'm saying? Any particular colorway? Open to a lot of them. Cause look at it, like there's all type of shit going on, right? Depending on what day. Do you ball in ones though? Yeah, I ball in the ones. Okay. I ball in the ones and the um, 13s, I think. Okay. Do you remember any of these in high school or when yeah, you were young? I, yeah, I remember all these, bro. 
And did you have them all? Your I dad had, was lacing you? I had all these here. My pops, my mama. I had all this shit. And you buy now mostly to play ball in? Nah, I collect them. That's what I read, that you collect, but you don't really wear nah, Jordans. I don't wear Jordans no more. I just collect them. So what, you have a closet full of them? I got a closet. I got storage. I got a whole separate room, uh, room with just Jordans in the closet. And Motherfuckers don't even know that this shit yeah, real. You don't show you don't show off that you have the closet or or a big collection of Jordans. You keep it tucked a little bit. I don't show a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask, what do you plan on doing with all the pairs? I'm just collecting. I'm gonna have like I'm gonna have like a setup in one of my houses like this. Mm -hmm. All Jordans on the wall though, like a room. Is he your favorite player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. come on man. Of all time, right? Yeah, like, he should be yours too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Play with a lot of heart. There be a lot of pussy ass players out here. They be put. They be playing like pussies. You know what I'm saying? That's why Jordan was one of the, was like the best to me. Like that was the main reason. Cause he like Aggressive. got heart, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You think like my boy Westbrook play like that? Like yes. beast true. mode. Niggas be scared to play on a team with him type shit. Like yeah, nigga, it's time coming. Aggressive. You gotta win. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Has there ever been a pair that you had to scramble to get? Do you remember? Yeah, when I was young, probably. I wasn't going to get them, though. My pops and them was going to do that type of shit. Like, he was Jordan out, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, he was the one, like, he had been doing that when we was young. So it wasn't like, It was oh, regular, you could, though. It, was it wasn't like, like you get one Jordan a year. He was going fuck no, every bro. other weekend. Like, whenever they came out, we had all of them. You know, I remember, see, this is a story I remember. When the 17s came out, yeah. you feel me? If you had these back in the day, you briefcase. know, yeah, they came with the briefcase. Yep. I came to school with the 17s with the whole Jordan outfit on with the briefcase. Yeah. Young nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The they was best. Like, $200 they, they were. Niggas was like, you got that? I'm like, yeah, nigga. YG, we talked about everything. Now you get the browser shells, pick out some shoes you're going to take home. Yep, so that. Uh, like that. Yeah, I want these. I want these. Let me get these. Let me get these, bro. Got you, my man. Let me see these, bro. Got you, my man. Let me get these, bro. Fifteens? Yeah. Let me get them baby Yeezys, too. All right. Let's go. So your total is going to be $2,354.28. Mm hmm Big bags. <laughs> so YG came through, bought a bunch of sneakers. Make sure everyone checks out Backyard Boogie, his first LA show in four years. Thanks so much for coming through.